does Lamar fit into the quarterbacks that you face? I mean, he's one of the best to do it. You know what I'm saying? He's a um, great player, dynamic player. Um, he's been an MVP for a reason, and, you know, he's going to be, um, you know, one of the most sought after guys for a reason, you know? So, I mean, throw the ball, one of the most elite athletes in the entire league, and, um, you know, just a, a great player. Seems like a pretty good dude. Is he's the, does he have more oh wow moments as for you for a defensive guy than anybody else just because of that athleticism and the way he plays? I mean, I don't know, and, and like, I haven't sat here and thought about comparing him to anybody else, but I mean, he had so many, you know, I think right. it goes without, um, go without saying, you know what I'm saying? And since, I mean, since, you know, he's been named on national stage for a long time for a good reason. When, when you face a team that likes to run like they do, I mean, I could think back to Cleveland and even San Francisco earlier this year. Mm -hmm. Do you like some of those matchups better because it's maybe a more workload day for you in some ways? I mean, it's the, it's the next matchup, you know. Yeah. Um, so I think that's what's most important is the next matchup. You know, obviously they want to run the ball, establish the run. Uh, you know, the big physical guys uh, up front and um, got some good running backs. Also, with you know, a super dynamic quarterback that can run the ball. And uh, so we got to be ready, you know. So it's the next matchup and we got to be ready for whatever they, whatever they bring at us. I just didn't know if that was something that kind of like got you going a little bit more because you're like, oh, they and might. I try to be going there every week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? However got to go, I'm going to be ready. I imagine you inherently want to face their best, you know, whoever whoever it is, you, you want to measure yourself against their best, but is there a sigh of relief if Lamar can't play just because? No, I mean, you all, you can only go against who going to be out there, you know what I'm saying? You don't know to game day, and however go, that's how I go. Hey, uh, how did the, um, you know, after the slow start, uh, you know, what did it feel like to you all to battle back and, you know, still, you know, uh, start shutting them down? And so From the Saints game? From the Saints game. Yeah. Um, you, know, yeah. you know, I mean, it so, shows some resilience, but at the same time, we can't, we can't go down um, that early in the game like that, you know, making some mistakes and having explosive plays. We got to cut it out. You know, I think it's, it's tough, you know, when guys do fight back and we do fight back, you know, but uh, being a competitor, you know, wanting to win, you know, the, the, um, trying to find the more victories is, is, is um, not what I'm trying to keep doing. You know what I'm saying? We got to get better and um, find a way to stop uh, points from being scored and win some games. What was the unit any kind of way shaken by the uh, pregame activities with around? The I mean, uh, you know, it's definitely something unfortunate. You know, and uh, that and that's take from the away from the football standpoint, from the person standpoint. You know, and uh, so. I mean, we definitely was concerned about coaching, you know, worried, worried, worried about them. But at the end of the day, you know, we knew it was good. But, I mean, you know, just from, from the human standpoint of it, you, you definitely, you know, you don't want anything to happen like that to anybody. When, when you look at kind of the way that this team has evolved, you're starting to see more young players now. I know you don't necessarily see Troy on a play-to-play -play basis because he's behind you. But when you watch him on tape, what is it that maybe has improved or stood out? That maybe even helps you. I don't know as a defensive line, as a defensive lineman. Uh, I think with the more rips we've gotten, you know, they can look more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I think from the raw talent standpoint, and um, I think you've seen it early, you know, in training camp. But you, you said like a young team. We have we've been we've had a young team all year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, obviously with more um, repetition, guys will get better. So I think um, you know it's still early for him. But I mean, he 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 be put in that position for a reason. I'm excited to see him continue to grow. When you have a guy, like, it seems like he's very, tra you know, he's got a lot of traits, that, like, especially with the speed and stuff like that. I wasn't sure if there's, if you have a guy like that playing behind you, like yeah, that with Dion for a little bit too, if that maybe changes some things. Um, I think. Yeah. I don't know, I think, you know, at this level, man, most, most linebackers going to have some speed on them. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm kind of, I'm not sure what you what you asked me to say. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think Troy's going to be a great player. Time to tell and how, you know, how good he's going to be. And I'm excited to see him to, to continue to grow. Uh, they're running backs, uh, Dobbins and Edwards. What do you see from them two guys? They uh Ran up in yeah, man, two big, strong, physical guys, man, and um, they get downhill fast, quick in a hurry, and, and um, so, uh, so yeah, they got a, definitely a brand of football they like to play up there, and uh, we got to be ready. Uh, they're cold. What do y'all have to do? It's supposed to be real cold, I guess. On hey, they're going to be cold. We're going to be cold. We got to play the game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, the elements, you can't control that. You control the controllables and get ready to play because ain't nobody coming to save you. Ain't nobody going to feel sorry for you either way. And um, you better be ready to play. Offensive and defensive linemen sometimes take pride in braving that. Like, is there a weather point where you're just like, no, 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 no? <laughs> I mean, I think everybody different. You know what I'm saying? Um, some guys definitely pride themselves on not, you know, succumbing to the um, 
elements of whatever, but I don't, I don't care either way. I mean, whatever make you get the job done. You know, everybody different. Whatever you need to get your mental right to do whatever, whatever you got to tell yourself, do what you got to do. <laughs>